And there's one more thing uh, doing that kind of recessed uh, little little bullet thing over here. So I'm going to go through here. We're going to have two separate pieces. I'm going to control shift. Let's go back to select rectangle. I'm going to take this piece, control shift A to grow all. We're going to split hidden and then alt tap this one over here. Uh, you won't have to do this. This will just be how you're working. Go ahead and split hidden on that one. I'm going to hold down shift and do the bent up arrow. So both of these objects are right at the top. I'm going to hold down shift and turn off the eyeball. So I'm just looking at these two objects here. Uh, let's go into our insert. So we can go, you can go to BI brush insert uh, primitives and just grab a sphere out of there. And I'm going to drag that sphere right on our mesh here. And uh, I'm going to rotate this around so the polarized caps are on either end. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to do that. I'm going to scale this out and move it into place. And we're going to push this in right here. So basically this side over here I want to bump out and this side over here I want to cut in. So we'll go ahead and scale this out just a little bit more. And let's go to Unmash Mesh Center. Just hold down Alt and go to Unmash Mesh Center. And then you can kind of move that around. So now uh, let's do a Subtool Split Mass Points. That's under your Subtool Split menu. And then now uh, we have the beginning of what we want to do, which is basically Dynamesh these two together and Boolean Dynamesh these two together so it cuts out. How we're going to do that is we're going to have this one object here and we're going to hold down Control Shift and we're going to go to Slice. I'm going to do this on just one side because uh, I don't feel like mirroring all the time. So I'm going to go hit X to go out of X symmetry. Control Shift. Let's go back to Select Rectangle. Control Shift Alt. And then Geometry Modify Topology. Delete Hidden. So now we've got this piece over here. Again, go back to Control Shift Slice. And we're going to slice right through that object is control shift to bring out the line and then if you want to tap alt if you need to make it a slight bend uh, you can do that and now you've sliced right through here so now you got two pieces of this so let's do this let's go ahead and do um, control shift isolate this one uh, split hidden and then we're going to go into solo mode and this one we can just do a geometry modified topology close holes I don't care about like capping this in any particular way and then again we'll go over here to uh, close holes just alt tap these so now that we have those, uh, what we're going to need to do is again, we're going to need to dynamesh this one to this, and then this uh, is going to be booleaned out of that one. So with this one here, let's say uh, this one here, let's go ahead and set our dynamesh resolution is already set. So we can turn on dynamesh, and that'll be dynameshed at a resolution of 1900. And then this piece, I want to do that as well. If I want to make this piece smoother, because if I dynamesh it right now, I might get this faceting on there. I can go in here, see these polygroups are already set up. So I go down here to geometry, crease. PG, that'll crease that polygroup. So now I can hit Control D, and that'll go ahead and smooth it. I'll hit Control D a couple times, do the exact same thing to this one. So just Alt tap this one, crease PG, hit Control D, Control D, and uh, now I got nice smooth uh, shapes on that one. So we're gonna hold down Alt, Let's switch over for standard brush when we're Alt tapping, we don't have that message come up. Um, so we have this one selected, and hold down Shift, shoot it to the top. Alt tap the Dynamesh, shoot it to the top. I'm going to go ahead and merge down. I have my hotkey for that is Control E, but you can go down here to merge down. It's going to merge those two together. And I can Control Drag, and now that shape will be merged perfectly on here. I can hold down Shift to smooth. I can smooth out this transition right here. And if I want it on the other side, I can just do a quick geometry deformation tool, deformation mirror across the X so that it's on the negative side. And then I can do a quick geometry modified topology mirror and weld across the X, and now it's on this side. And then while this is open, I can go through here with like my clay brush and just kind of punch this in. Or I guess I could do a standard brush and we can just clone this off. Put maybe an alpha 06 in there with a drag dot stroke. Crank that Z intensity up. Drag that focal shift down a bit. And then well, maybe not that much Z intensity. And uh, hit L to turn off lazy mouse. And now you can just go through here and you can even put that in there a couple times. You want a nice uh, deep recess in there. So now on this side, it's going to be uh, similar, only this is going to be a subtractive mesh. So Alt tap this one. We'll make sure you, make sure Dynamesh is turned on. I'm going to hold down Shift, shoot it to the top. Alt tap this one here, Shift, shoot it to the top. And this time, I'm going to move this down beneath it. So just touch that down arrow one time. I'm going to make this subtractive. If I want to see how this is going to look first, I can turn on Live Boolean, and you'll see that's the result I'm going to get. Looks pretty good. I can actually go in here and maybe move this out a little bit and down. Okay, that's a little bit better actually. Um, so we'll turn live boolean off. So this is going to be a dynamesh. Uh, so I'm going to go up here just to play it safe. I'm going to hit Control W to make it all one polygroup. I don't need any other polygroups. And then this one is going to be subtractive. So you're going to see if I have polyframe turned on and I go down here to merge down onto that subtractive mesh, it's going to be a white dynamesh. So I'm going to hold down Control Drag to re-dynamesh this result. And 
that'll go ahead and cut that out for me. And again, if I want it on the other side, uh, because I wasn't doing that symmetrically, I can just do a quick deformation mirror and then De geometry modified topology mirror and weld. So now that's my result here. I have this little recessed area here and go smooth it. And then right on the very end here, we can just go to BI brush insert, say industrial parts, hit M or go up here and just grab something. You can just drag it right on here. And then again, go over here to split mass parts. Before we do that, this at this point, let's go ahead and turn on our X symmetry so we get this on both sides. And then you can go through here and just drag that out. And then again, uh, split mass points there and then hit D and that'll turn on dynamic for it if you want to have it nice and smooth and then then you can have that little recessed area right there.